Hello and welcome to oddsmarket.com. I have on the line here sports writer Martin Green. Uh, he has written an article for us uh, that should be posted at some point um, in the description box below the link there. So do look out for that. Uh, but today what we're going to do is actually the draw is out. It was released today uh, for the quarterfinals uh, for the Champions League. And uh, we're just basically going to see if in any way if it's affected sort of the outrights for the winner's market. And then we've obviously got a couple of weeks until actually kick off even more than that. Uh, so I want to see if the odds actually are going to move, uh, see what Martin's got to say about that. Martin, thanks for being here. Thanks. Now, obviously, Barcelona and Bayern Munich, they still remain the two favourites um, to win the Champions League. Uh, Barcelona's are 2.7, they're Labrox, and then Bayern Munich is 3.75 with Paddy Power. Looking at their head-to-head, -head, I'd say Bayern Munich actually have got the better of the draw here. I think you're right, yes. It is quite a difficult uh, draw for Barcelona to navigate. Atletico are a very good side who they play regularly in La Liga and they do know how to beat Barcelona so it is quite tricky for them. I still think with their current firepower they'll have enough to overcome Atletico but it certainly is a tougher draw whereas Bayern and particularly Real Madrid I think have been handed pretty easy draws for them and I think they should sail through. So I think it's it's an interesting draw because all of the really big teams have been kept apart mm -hmm. and I expect, uh, and, and I have a pretty good idea of who I think will make the semi-finals based on it. Yeah, who, who are you looking at then? I'm, I'm really looking at, I can't see uh, Real Madrid having much difficulty at all against Wolfsburg. I think also Barcelona will just about have enough to, to get past Atletico. I think, um, yeah, I think Bayern will, will get through without too many problems. The really interesting draw for me is the final one, PSG versus Man City. I think that one will be a bit closer, but uh, Man City's captain, Vincent Company just got injured for a month, and without him, they really struggle. So I think PSV, sorry, PSG will just shade that one. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I tell you again, though, going back to sort of the, the two uh, fixes that we've got, the Bayern Munich, Benfica, Barcelona, Letico, um, I just wonder whether, I, I don't know, right now I'm just, I, I think that there's more value to actually play the Bayern Munich win over the Barcelona win. Uh, where would you put your money? I totally agree with you. Yes, I would, I would definitely go for the Bayern win out of the two. I think they've had a much easier draw of it. Um, as I say, I think Atletico were about the fourth favourites to win it before the uh, draw was made. So you, you, you've got, you've got, and they're a team that are second in La Liga, playing really well. They probably have the best defence in all of Europe. So Barcelona really will struggle to break them down. Whereas I don't think Benfica are at all as strong as that. So I think they have a pretty comfortable route to the semi-finals now, Bayern do. Yeah. Now let's take a look at these early odds. Obviously, kickoff is Tuesday, Tuesday, twelfth of April. We've got um, obviously matches over Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, there's Plenty of value apart from maybe the Wednesday matches where Barcelona 1.5 favourites and Bayern Munich 1.25 favourites. Um, but there is still value to back the PSG win 1.8 and also Real Madrid uh, also priced 1.8. Do you see those odds changing at all? Because obviously right now we have no idea if there's going to be injury, um, you know, what the events that could occur which could change those odds. So is it is now the time to strike if you've got sort of like a, a lean on a winner? I think now is a pretty good time to strike. I don't think anything too dramatic could happen to really change it. I mean, say if uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic got injured and... Um, PSG were really going to miss him. That could, something like that could have a real bearing on it. Mm -hmm. I don't think league form will have too much, too much of a problem. Uh, PSG have already won the um, the French league. Man City aren't doing particularly well in the um, in the UK league in the Premiership. Sorry. Um, again, I mean something at Real Madrid. If Cristiano Ronaldo was out, I think that could affect things. But. I don't really think there's anything too much that could sway it. I think if you've got a lean, I'd play it now, really. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, obviously, the draw has just been released, and now this is when all the smart money comes on. And that, you know, that is something that does create those odds. If you've got a lot of money, uh, saying going on the Real Madrid win, uh, the bookies will obviously counter that then with the odds. And maybe around the time of the match, you might be looking at something like 1.7, maybe even slightly lower. Yeah, no, that's a really good point. I think. Um, a lot of people will have looked at the fixture list and that for me is the one that I expect to be a real a real walk in the park for um, for Real Madrid. 
They're off pace a little bit in La Liga. They're third, but they are playing very well. They've got some real superstars in their team. And I just don't really see that from Wolfsburg at all. I think um, they struggle with a lack of firepower up front. They're well, well, well off the pace in Germany. They're nowhere near Bayern or Dortmund. I don't think they're a particularly great side this year. Um, I, I, I agree with you there. I'd probably lump on Real Madrid now if you can. Yeah, yeah. I definitely would say now is the time to bet. Obviously, you don't know what's going to happen. But, you know, as that smart money does stop sort of pouring in there, those odds definitely will drop. Yeah, no, agreed. Totally agreed, yeah. Um, go for it now and then just hope that Ronaldo doesn't get injured. Even if he does, I mean, they've got Gareth Bale, they've got Karim Benzema, they've got James Rodriguez. It's a team with enough uh, firepower yeah. to cope with the loss of anybody, really. I'd, I'd still, well, pretty much whatever team they put out, I fancy them to beat Wolfsburg in this game and they'll take it very seriously. So, um, yeah, go for it. All right, fantastic. Martin, thank you for joining us.